Welcome back to the channel, folks. Uh, we are evacuating from Hurricane Milton. And in true fashion, um, everybody had a crash into each other. We, we made it the first 43 miles, no problem. Made it in about 28 minutes. Cruise control set at 80, not anymore. Nope, just solid traffic. Ambulances have been racing up the emergency lane over to myself and it's, um, it's just red lights as far as you can see in front of me. Oh well, stay tuned. And of course, in true Florida fashion, we got a bunch of self-entitled ass wipes. They gotta make their own lane cause more of a traffic jam because they're entitled assholes. Well, it's been five and a half hours and we just crossed into Georgia and I have to get out of the uh, shoulder because you can't ride on the shoulder in Georgia. So, yep, that's that. So five and a half hours to get out of Florida. Uh, normally should take three, three and a half hours. So yeah, um, we'll see people are driving like absolute retards because they have to so that's that alrighty well we are back in our neighborhood and um, once I get close to my neighborhood I will turn this camera back on and it's been a week so we'll see what kind of damage I see a lot of trees down I see a lot of blue tops on building roofs around me so hang out for a few minutes we're going to be pulling into my neighborhood. Um, still don't have a power, I don't think. Power lines, trucks are still there. So there is a lot of damage in my neighborhood, and I took some damage myself. Yeah, I received pictures that the roof on my lanai was missing, but my carport is good. Um, I can tell you right now, the cleanup has been, we've been gone four days since the hurricane, and I can yeah. tell you right now, people have done a fantastic job of cleaning up all the debris. Here's debris here. And generator going, so um, no power. And uh, I'll be pulling up to my house. That? No, I got it. I mean, got some roof damage there. This house, down. this house is, on, I'm going 15. This house is undamaged, that's good. That and, house looks and that's a ton of damage right there to that house. Oh, yeah. That's a lot, that's a lot. I might have to come down and talk that's to that guy to see if I can salvage some of his aluminum for my roof and that's not good right there. That's not good at all. I can salvage some of that. It's it's amazing how some of these houses have absolutely no damage and some of them have a lot of damage. Yeah, that's buckled up and tree damage. I do hope nobody took any of my aluminum though. I'll be upset if my aluminum was taken on my siding. Because I can salvage everything. Oh, he, Leo got way more damage to his house. Yeah. Oh, that's absolutely horrible. I feel so bad for those people. Yep, she's uh, still waving. Yep, she's still waving. Ooh, that's horrible. That's major. I oh, oh, yep. oh, that's bad. Okay, yeah. so wow, this is much damage over there. That's up. gone. That's all look, wrinkled up and crinkled. Wow. Look at roof gone. Roof is gone. Yeah. All right. Well, we're coming up to my house and let's see. The side of my house, that looks good. This looks good. I'm happy with this. Oh no! My motorcycle is in the fetal position crying! <sighs> oh. 
Oh no! All right, now well, let's uh, let's get some. I don't know. All right, um, let's get out and walk around a little bit and get my doggy out. Oh, that breaks my heart. I'm gonna leave this that breaks my heart. All right, come on, Mozzie, let's go see out back. Nope, this way. Come on, back up. Oh, no. Yeah, well, if there's a test, of, come on, Mazepin, come on. Walk, Mozzie. You are a goova. Come on. Mazepin. I'll get, I'll get. Oh, shit. Well, if there's a testimony to be said about Ultra God motorcycle covers, this is it. I mean, we had 100, yeah. 120 mile an hour winds and that's all that's i mean the cover is still in shape uh the roof is missing off the shed so this ain't too bad there should be a roof here but it's not too bad and no nope, that's no rot it just looked that way oh nope not bad at all i can fix all of this this is easy enough to fix. Easy enough. I just wish I knew where all my aluminum went. All right, oh, missing another shutter. <laughs> yeah, right here. Oh boy. All right, well, first things first, it's gonna uncover that motorcycle and get it upright. I uh, hope there's no damage. Well, hang on. Okay, well the bike is upright. Um, it was a bear to get up because the forks were locked in the wrong position. I have damage there. I have damage on the fender. There's uh, damage on the saddlebag. There's damage up in there. Most likely from the uh, bungee cords holding it down. Um, almost afraid to start it because you know laying on its side all the oil but it's been a few minutes it should have all drained oh it's in gear so now normally if you've seen this bike the front wheel is there that hurricane blew that bike around 180 degrees and landed it against the shed Dented my shed door. Don't care about that. All right, let's get this thing out of gear. I mean, yeah, let's get it out of gear. And uh, see if it starts. See how bad it smokes first. All right, we're in neutral. Got battery. I'm happy um, I'm gonna get some more pictures from inside the shed well that is your problem it ain't got no gas yeah it ain't got no gas all right I'll be working on this tomorrow. Oh. All right, could be worse. Okay, what happened? It could be worse, but it's not. All righty. Oh, Thanks okay. for tuning in.